Welcome back to Danger Close Customs. Today we're going to take a look at my Mossberg 590 Shockwave Firearm. Of course, I put my Danger Close Customs touch on this weapon to transform it into a home defense, room clearing, quick grab and go weapon. Megatron, you are to stay behind. I entrust Cybertron to you, Shockwave. Fear not, Megatron. Cybertron shall remain as you leave it. Excellent. Losing power. All right, here's a look at the first gun that I had that was called Shockwave. And this was a Transformers Generation 1 toy. Uh, that was a like a laser pistol. Uh, it wasn't a great pistol. Obviously, the arms there wobble up and down, uh, and it had this big plastic piece that's like a barrel shroud that you use to hold it together. But when you transform it, you just take it off, and then you have this extra big piece of plastic to carry around with you. So it wasn't that popular, uh, but it did light up and have sounds. And so I'm showing here somebody on YouTube is transforming this. Um, but I had this one, and the story behind it was, uh, this was actually the first Transformers I bought with my own money. And like Megatron, it was a toy gun, unlike the others, which were ships and cars. Coincidentally, Megatron was the first Transformers toy that my father bought for me. And there you have it. I've been playing with guns ever since. So I can blame or thank my father for my addiction to guns. Here's what the stock Shockwave Mossberg looks like as I got it from the factory and I transformed this into the weapon you see here with the shell carrier and the black aces tactical rail system and I custom modded a Magpul foregrip that they make for the full size 590 shotgun and here you'll see uh, underneath there uh, you have to bore out the um, inside of the foregrip section so that it will fit on the much shorter barreled shockwave. I like to run this with the mini slugs and mini buckshot shells uh, so that I can hold more rounds and have a lot less recoil. So I installed this as the Opsole, uh, made in Texas, a mini clip. And you insert this rubber piece inside your shockwave and it helps to reliably load the much shorter mini shotgun shells you can almost fit double the amount of shotgun shells in the magazine tube with these shorties i think the aguila brand that i showed in the picture might even be shorter than these ones that i'm using but i'll show you here i'm loading up three four five and then i gotta strip some more off the ammo belt And that's six, seven, eight. And the ninth one doesn't fit, so that one you just rack it and put it in the chamber. Here they are side by side with the regular buckshot. So I'll show you, you could take out the Opsol mini clip and then you'll be able to load your regular 12 gauge rounds. This thing pops out really easy. It's Head in place, uh, the rubber is very tight. Um, it's got some grooves that fit into the receiver perfectly to hold it there. And you could probably pull that out with your finger or a tip of a round if you needed to, or your pocket knife. So we're at five, the sixth shell didn't fit, so we're at five plus one. 
So here I'm back with the mini clip installed, running the little shells and put on safe. And then I'm gonna rack this action to show you that spitting out the shells. I tried doing this upside down to show you the action. Upside down, it doesn't work that way. Snow hanging from trees or upside down in the doorway like Leon the Professional, you have to rack this action upright. Or if you are upside down, just hold the gun vertically up so that the action uh, will work and the rounds don't fall into the ejection window. The first rack is loading the first round in and then after that you'll see the image check. As I mentioned earlier, the Aguila brand mini shells are actually a little bit shorter and I was able to put uh, shells um, halfway in and so I'd have a row on the bottom and a row on the top of the shell holder. So these little mini rounds took me from a 5 plus 1 setup to a 8 plus 1 setup and I think with the Gila I got in 9 plus 1. So really double up on your amount of rounds you're carrying in the tube. Um, also again it's, it's a pistol, it's kind of unwieldy, I'll show you how I use it. And with these mini shells it takes out quite a bit of the recoil. I pulled out this plug again to just show you the shape and it's just designed very well to fit in there and not fall out and not cause any problems. Also, these rounds um, are designed to function in different shotguns uh, without that plug. Uh, you can use them in different kinds of shotguns. It's just uh, this improves the reliability of the loading. And so um, I've tried it in different shotguns. Awesome for, you know, break open double barrels. But this helps you to have, run it reliably. Um, it, it doesn't run reliably in every gun. So I'll show you here, I run this on a two-point sling slash bandolier that holds about 10 uh, shotgun shells on, on the sling. And I have my green laser set up. This is a unique laser that puts out a spot of 20 different dots. These represent the buckshot pattern that you'd be shooting at somebody. Here on this door, I have a coat hanging to represent the size of a person's chest. As you can see, uh, this pattern fully covers their chest. You look down and you see 20 different laser dots on your chest. Uh, that definitely will be a deterrent uh, and let you know that you are well covered. Here I'm going to show you uh, with this uh, two-point sling, I like to put my hand inside the sling uh, to brace up against it. Um, with these mini shells, the recoil is very manageable, so you can shoot it with your hand uh, just on the bird's head grip and hold it however you want. However, for me, uh, just to improve the stability, I like to wrap my hand and, and push my wrist against the sling, and it just gives you some more stability. You'll notice there's no sights on this. It's hard to sight with this style of grip. You can't hold it up to your face and get a good sight picture. Uh, so I use the laser and hold this one lower um, at my rib area. Again, don't put this bird's head grip up against your chest. I did that once and only once. Uh, it does leave you uh, quite a bruise and there's a, a peg at the end that's going to hit you in the chest. Uh, but holding at a chest level, I think, is the best way to use this, this gun and definitely with a sling. So there's actually 15 rounds on the bandolier of this sling. And so you're running 9 plus 5 on the side carrier. And these 15 rounds, you're at 29 rounds uh, on a grab-and-go type weapon. All right, I'm triple checking that it is on safe. Got my finger on the little button on the side of the receiver that allows you to rack the action without pulling the trigger. The weapon is clear. I look into the chamber, into the barrel. So obviously, shotguns are better shot with the stock. And this one, you're compromising to have very short um, overall size. It's compact and you can uh, conceal it if you need to. Um, it's lighter and you just don't get the support that you do by having it on a shoulder stock. Um, but also this um, handles recoil differently. Uh, it goes straight back into your hand instead of a pistol grip, which is vertical. Um, the recoil goes into your wrist. And with this, with your hand on the bird's head grip, you actually uh, don't feel the recoil in your wrist and it prevents you from injuring your wrist. The angle of your hand on this grip 
um, allows the recoil to go along your forearm and you absorb some of it with your elbow and your shoulder. As the recoil impulse has a rearward motion. The Black Aces rail kit has pick rails on the side and also an optional spike uh, for your muzzle strike that you can attach to the front. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoy a bowl of Captain Crunch. Make sure to hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel. I have a lot of more gun videos coming. Uh, lots of new guns. It just takes time to go out and shoot them and shoot these videos for you guys. Thanks for watching.